Should you buy EA Sports FC 24 Standard Edition or Ultimate Edition? That is what we're looking at in this video. Standard Edition is releasing on the 29th of September and it's priced at £69.99. This is depending on which country you are in, but I'm doing it as I'm from the United Kingdom, so it's going to be in British pounds. But this is going to be uh, possible to reduce this, which we're going to be discussing later on in this video. There are a couple methods to reduce it by 10%, 20%, even a little bit uh, extra as well, which we will cover. Now, who is standard edition for? I would say this is going to be for most people, they are going to be getting standard edition, whether it's at the start of the game or if they're going to be getting it maybe during Christmas, there is going to be some sort of special offer. Usually people who are interested in EA Sports FC super early, like right now, there are a couple pre-order benefits if you order before a certain time. In this case, the 22nd of August, you're going to be getting something extra for Ultimate Edition, which is actually a Heroes UEFA Champions League hero uh it's going to be either men's or women's and you're going to be getting this item in november so it isn't something that's actually going to be benefiting you right from the start of the game but it's an incentive ea want you to be ordering quite early so if you do have the opportunity to to get this uh, for ultimate edition it can be quite good if you do play ultimate team but for those that don't really play ultimate team too much they're not really too bothered maybe their main mode is pro clubs or they're focusing on career mode something like that they're not really too bothered standard edition is going to be what most people go for and don't forget the price difference is also there so for people that just want the cheapest version of ea sports fc the standard edition is definitely the go-to for that then we do have the second option which is ultimate edition this is going to be coming a week earlier on the 22nd of september but it is coming at a cost the original price is £99.99. .99. There are going to be ways of reducing this, which we will cover, but it does come with pre-order benefits. As we can see here, uh, as well as, of course, the seven days early access, which is increased from a usual three days early access is the usual amount. Now we're going to be getting it four days even before that a whole week is going to be very nice indeed and then we do also have 4600 fc points it's no longer fifa points which is quite funny then we do also have access to uh nike ultimate team campaign uh nike ultimate team campaign loan item and then a kit as well so we don't really know how uh important that stuff is the kit and the loan item are absolutely irrelevant pretty much not going to be that helpful but perhaps the access uh, to the night campaign could be something cool but i'm sure there's going to be way to get access anyways for everyone who isn't getting ultimate edition so whether that's going to be um, something you have to pay for uh, maybe an extra cost i don't think so maybe it's just going to be um, something they have to uh, unlock in game we're not really too sure and then there is also team of the week one untradeable item which is quite nice and again if you do order before uh, the 22nd of august you're going to be getting that champions league hero item but remember you're going to be getting that in november it's not instant right away so the main benefit here which is going to be useful is going to be seven days early access for an ultimate team player that is going to be absolutely huge when you get access into the game and you can start earning coins by playing matches division rivals foot champions everything like that that is extremely beneficial don't forget the 4600 fc points as well you can just open those on 7.5k packs or you can wait for the closest promo and then open them there that is going to be extremely useful again uh, that is very useful though for ultimate team players if you again you're not really too focused on ultimate team whether or not that's going to be benefiting you is the question you have to ask yourself personally i'm going to be going for ultimate edition just as a content creator i need to get the game seven days early so i can start making content but in your case i would decide whether you want to save a little bit of money uh, then go for standard edition and if you're not really that big of a fan uh, of ultimate team then just go for standard edition but if you do want that early access and you are an ultimate team fan go for the ultimate edition and if you can pre-order before the 22nd of august that's even more reason to order that ultimate edition now let's look at how you can actually save a little bit of money on standard edition you can save 10 percent off 
which will take the price down from $69.99 to £62.99. And that is going to be using EA Play. EA Play, if you don't already have it, is going to be setting you back around £3. But still, there's a little bit of saving there. Just don't forget to cancel. You can also save even more money if you try and get gift cards from a website like CD Keys and then redeem those codes onto your console, let's say PlayStation or Xbox, and then use that credit. That's going to be a way you can save a little bit of money as well. For Ultimate Edition, you're going to be saving that 10% the same way through EA Play and also there's usually every single year a way of ordering inside of FIFA 23. There should be some sort of special offer that comes up. I haven't seen it just yet recording this video on the 13th of July but maybe it's going to be something which pops up eventually hopefully fingers crossed and that will save us 20% in total which is quite nice. Comment down below which edition you're going to be going for.